بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the fifth juz or the fifth part of the Quran we continue uh, from where we left off in Surah An-Nisa and so this entire juz the fifth juz is uh, in its entirety uh, a part of Surah An-Nisa and uh, basically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to mention the rulings pertaining to women. And so among the things that Allah mentions here in this uh, para, in this juz, is uh, how to go about uh, reconciling between a husband and a wife when they dispute. Uh, what does a husband do? Uh, what does the woman do? Uh, who else gets involved? The families of both sides. How are they supposed to uh, bring peace between this marital relation? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions all of that in detail. Uh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala moves on to talk about other uh, issues uh, that are not pertaining to women uh, directly. Uh, and so, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about, uh, in general, uh, obedience to Allah and His Messenger and those who have been placed in authority over us ulil amr and so uh, Allah mentions that we are to obey them and that if there is any dispute uh, what is the reference point that we go back to uh, it is the Quran and the Sunnah it is uh, the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, that uh, you know, the uh, uh, to seek uh, a legislation or a law uh, from other than what Allah has revealed, it is from the traits of the hypocrites. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts to talk about the hypocrites and mentions uh, them in detail in this surah and in this juz, in this para. Among the things that Allah mentions here uh, or that Allah focuses on here in this uh, juz regarding the hypocrites is they're uh, allying with the enemies of Islam. They're allying with the enemies of Islam. And so you find that, you know, uh, this was not only the case in the time of the Prophet wasallam when this revelation was revealed, but it is always the case wherever you find a group of believers, you find among their ranks, uh, the hypocrites whose hearts are not with the believers, but rather with their enemies plotting against the believers with the enemies of Islam. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to us uh, here regarding them and warned us against them and told us that you know their eventual abode is uh, not only that they will be in the hellfire but that they will be in the lowest depths and the pits of the hellfire. Uh, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in this juz, in this para, uh, some uh, rulings pertaining to salah, uh, such as uh, shortening the prayer when traveling, uh, and also Allah explained a uh, a detailed explanation of how to pray a salat al khawf, uh, the prayer of fear, and that is uh, when the believers are out, um, uh, the mujahidun are fighting, and they within the battle. While they're fighting, they have to pray. The time for Salah comes. So how to pray, Allah mentions this in detail here. And finally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in detail regarding uh, regarding uh, uh, fighting in the, in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and encouraging the believers to fight jihad in his cause when, uh, when, uh, when it comes time to do so. Uh, and with that, we come to the end of uh, this session. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.